another my jeep video part two transmission service quick update it's friday morning as you can see i found some more broken pieces that spring that i talked about earlier this is what came out of there i'm glad i had a new spring yeah this is uh came out of the bottom of the pan and i believe it's some kind of snap ring out this is uh, my jeep quick update for our go i don't know if i'll be able to do much more work today we're getting ready to have some good thunderstorm be blowing rain in here on me but anyway uh this tab that i've been worried about this uh locking tab on this convector and what i did uh, i took some black rtv and i smooth it all around that conductor in the tab it's not broken but it keeps if you pull on it very hard it pops out and i'm worried about vibration hitting bumps that might cause it. i don't know how that will hold up inside the pan you know with the transmission fluid it uh, said it's fine they'll use it on the transmission pan we'll see uh Hopefully, that won't be an issue in the future, but if my transmission starts messing up, that's probably where I'll look at first. My Jeep out. This is my Jeep. Uh, update for Saturday morning. Well, it's uh, right at lunchtime, about 11, 11.30. Okay, uh, this is the accumulator spring, and I didn't even know anything about this. Uh, until it fell out and I just happened to find it and I had to go look it up to find out what it is. Uh, this is the accumulator spring piston and the transmission, if I'd left this out and put it all back together, I doubt if my transmission would have worked at all. Uh, anyway, uh, so keep that in mind if you're, if you're not familiar with transmission doing this kind of work. I'm not going deep in the transmission, but changing out these sensors, this accumulator spring, that's further than a lot of people go. So uh, uh, get up on the uh, the uh, nomenclature and the uh, different components if you're going to do this work. And if you're going to spend this much time, you know, make sure you put it back together right. Out for now. Okay. It's my Jeep again. I just want to show you how this goes in there. See the spring goes in the piston like that. This side goes in here. And, yeah. And go. Oh yeah, you got to make sure you line this up, this piston, because it, it's got to go all the way down in there so it can slide back and forth. I guess transmission fluid pressure is uh, they bring this around plate around that harness goes that harness goes into that little uh, opening there. Okay uh, I just thought I'd show you that. My Jeep out for now. Another My Jeep update uh, few minutes uh, down the road here okay uh, I believe I got everything in place uh, as you saw I put the uh, accumulator spring and piston in that's the plate goes behind the uh, partially behind the filter filters in the uh, shift solenoids in and I put a, another dab of uh, black RTV on that connector there hoping that it will help keep that connector together, you know, over uh, periods of vibration of the vehicle, um, rough road, stuff like that. Uh, and of course, I, I got the, uh, yeah, let me see right there, I got that uh, output speed sensor in. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna do much today. I've got yard work I wanna finish up and uh, I might. But I'm gonna let uh, this thing set, and I've got uh, some motor mounts that I need to put in, some suspension I want to check, some, uh, and uh, we going over. I still got a lot of stuff to go over, 
I'm just hoping this transmission is going to come out because I've never serviced one before. Okay, my Jeep out for now. Oh, and this is uh, this is part two transmission service. Okay, it's my Jeep. We got our black hole extended all the way out. I believe it's about 30 feet. The wind's blowing good. Okay, I'm trying to get it uh, pretty damn tall. Almost, yeah, about as tall as the uh, 